So what's up everyone? Yeah, this is your boy again. Going back at ya with another with another one of these things. I'm sort of, I'm sort of getting a really big kick out of uh, the whole video thing, so I think I think I'm gonna make it I think I'm gonna make it more more common, you know. Whenever I think that whenever you talk about something, like it benefits you as much as it benefits whoever's listening, of course, as long as you have something to say, right? So, but first though, but first, hey Siri, play chill music. But then, hey Siri. I'm having trouble. There we go, some King Crimson. Now let's see, let's see if they don't, let's see if they don't mute out my video, right? Like, who who was it? Roger Waters or Fripp, who had like a, who had like a lot of caveats about having their music on YouTube. But well, so, so today I wanted to talk to you about another thing that I think is really central to. To, to to my to my way of being you know you know what's what's always gonna happen is that a lot of a lot of times a lot of times you're gonna suck at what you're trying to do and that that the, the fact that you're gonna be bad at something like that's totally normal that's totally fine there's even a psychologically identified condition about that as in the imposter syndrome right there's a lot of people that feel as if they as if they didn't deserve their success or the position that they have or as if they weren't as if they weren't good enough but i want but what i want to let you know now is that like listen i, I think that none of that ever matters and if you suffer if you suffer from imposter syndrome i think that it's usually just your mind playing tricks on you because of course, I mean, of course you're worthy. Of course you have a lot of merit to yourself. Of course, everybody's growing at their own pace. Everybody's trying, you know? So, and if you feel dwarf, like compared to when you turn around and look at others and compare yourself and your successes to what you see other people have, what you have to remember is that, well, of course, like everybody is, image conscious so you're probably just getting like a highly real version of everybody's lives you and, and i think this probably is exacerbated by the fact that everybody's so connected online these days so you're constantly being fed with a vision of the world where everybody's always happy and always doing something cool and everybody seems to just be you know living at large all the time but it is it is like a side effect of how like media works how people you know let others know things about themselves when they're when they are at their lonesome in their homes of course they have the same issues that you have of course they also have a a, a load to bear right and so when when you see when you see other people living a successful life what you don't see is that underneath that there's a lot of failures and retries. There's a lot of like issues where they had to stick stick with it. If there's anything that you're taking out of the chat today, is that don't don't fall into that trap or feeling feeling like you're less than others. Of course, as long as you're doing your best, as long as you are earnestly, like actually, truly trying, you know, you're you're worthy. Or at least people should see that. And if they don't, then, then that's their issue. Like, that's not something that you gotta control. And why worry about something that you cannot control in the end? And if you want to, if you want to become successful at something, if you want to grow as a person, well, remember that what matters is that you stick with things, you know? Is that, um, it's, it's, it's like programming. Like literally the only differentiator in how well you can program something is that you're going to get shown 
error messages like seven hours of the productive day, but in the end, you're, you're gonna get a single success when you actually manage to squash the bug, to squash the error message. And what matters is that process, right? And um, there's a, there's a game that recently released called Undertale, which is a game that I really love. And it's like sort of this quirky RPG that sort of upturns people's expectations of RPGs. And what I love about it is that the concept of determination is something that actually is baked into the game. Because back in the day, when people used to play old school video games, um, to to be able to play them, you had to you had to like retry a lot of times. You will play a game, and it will be like a really hard game, and then you fail, and then you try over again, and then you fail again, and then you try over again. But like little by little, you learn from your mistakes, right? So that process of iteration, that's normal, right? And then eventually, like one day, you pull through, you beat the hard level, you get through the you get through the unfair boss stage you get to the unfair uh like through through the to the weird jump that you weren't able to make before now after learning from you all of the from all of the suckash that you had to go through eventually you managed to pull through and and it, and that's and that's pretty cool because like in the in this case this game tries to emulate old school games and it does it in a really convincing way. And I think that these days when everything is readily available, a hundred percent focus on pleasure and where entertainment is about you just like resting and resting your mind and never thinking for yourself. So I think that a lot of people are not getting that kind of narrative. That a lot of time things are gonna suck and you're gonna have to stick with it and you're gonna have to wake up another day and keep at it, right? But but maybe, like, if there's anything that I want, would like people to take away from this conversation, is that, like, if you if you're in a if you're in a hard situation right now, if you feel lonely, if you feel like you got no solution, if you feel like you can't achieve what you want to achieve, allow yourself to fail, and eventually, eventually things change, and life has a really it's a really awesome way to balance itself, you know? And um I think that as long as long as you keep that, no matter no matter what hardship you're going through in life, as long as you have this mindset that no matter what, you're gonna come out a better person on the other side, you're always gonna pull through. And it's always gonna be um it's always gonna lead you to a to something good, you know? Thanks so much and um, hope hope you like this. Feel free to drop me a line if there's anything that you like about these videos. And yeah, feel free to um, feel free to hang around. What's up, guys?